You getting ready? No, I haven't yet. You want to stay home? I don't feel good. You don't have to go if you don't want to. You can't. You're not going to take three kids. They have to sit with you. It's perfectly fine. And they're going to behave, right, Cynthia? Mm -hmm. If mommy doesn't come, you're not going to give me trouble? No. He was trying to decide if she wanted to go to church or stay. I'm sure people at church are going to be like, what are you doing here? So what do you want to do? I just didn't have to get ready and to just teleport One more day. sit down. I just want to sit because I feel nauseous too. I'm just feeling sick this morning. You guys aren't allowed to see Nia, my favorite PJs on her. And I feel bad too. It's our last Sunday as a family of five. It's more like... Too There's too many happen. emotions everywhere. Can we go loosen these Look things up? Look at this, it's right, you bald head. That's for the baby. Righty Lucy and Lefty Tank. There you go. I'm super glad. Get her, get her, get her. Alright guys, I'm not sure if we've told you this or if the kids told you this or not, but we have a family date planned for tomorrow night. We'll probably be doing dinner out together. And so this is my last meal to cook before I'm a mommy of four. That is crazy. I almost cried when I started cooking, but then I got over it real fast because, you know, cooking is just whatever. So we're just doing pasta, corn on the cob, and garlic bread. But, Symphony, I have a little bit of a surprise, kind of. So I got a new little outfit for the baby just for you, for your first time to dress up the baby. It's hanging in the middle portion of the closet where I have all the little clothes. You want to go see if you can figure out which one it is? I bet I'll be able to know. I think I might have it what it didn't even take her very long. I knew she would know right away. What's on there, Symphony? Little koalas. Little koalas. <laughs> it can be like me and the new baby. That's right. That's why I got it. Symphony was my koala bear. That's what I called her. I'm painting my nails. I put dots and paint on it. Let me see. Hold them still so we can take a look at them. Keep them right there. Don't move. They're really beautiful, Jules. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this meal. Thank you for Molly for making it, even though she should be sitting down. <laughs> but um, to pray your bless her father with strength and uh, bless the baby with health and the mommy with health. And your son Jesus name I pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Stephanie did that. I did. Oh, people do that. Alright, guys, Favorite. we're going to do character sketches. Okay, there's so the question is mostly for mommy, actually. I don't know. But you guys can all pretend to guess because it's a question to a wife. If your husband told you he didn't want you to work, okay. but you knew your family needed food and money, what would you do? Um, hmm. I think I would find ways to earn money in the home. So I'm assuming if he didn't want me to work, it means he didn't want me to leave the home. Not actually work. Like if I was a husband. Like I could take grow vegetables and take them to the farmer's market. Or like do Etsy stuff. Yeah, I like I do my Etsy stuff. Yeah, I'd probably just try to get creative and Wait. always run it by him. Uh, I didn't hot wheel stand? Well, if he, he insisted, I'm like, you not work at all and we'll just be broke and slowly die of hunger and uh, beg people for food. Okay, that wasn't the question. <laughs> If you did say not work at all, um, I'd probably say if I don't get to work at all, then you're gonna have to work double for me. <laughs> That's mm. what I would say. Okay. And if he says no, I'm not gonna work double, then I'm gonna say 
Well, then you're just unfair. <laughs> I would say this. Daddy is the best. <laughs> Today in character sketches, though, guys, we're going to be learning about something called initiative. Does anybody know what initiative is? Not me. <laughs> I really envisioned you just that up into your pasta. Doesn't it mean to, like, award someone with something? No. It means to lose teeth. Not quite. <laughs> Not close. Yeah, I feel like you would say like, I'm going to initiate this award to so and so. Mm. I'm <laughs> going to use it in a sentence. <laughs> what yeah. did, why did you say I could understand? He said, I'm going to use it in a sentence. I woke up this morning and saw that the clothes needed to be folded. And they were just sitting on the couch. So I took the initiative and folded them myself. That's one sentence. Look, I took all of them and folded them myself. I saw the clothes on the couch and they needed to be folded. So I took the initiative and folded them myself. What does initiative mean? Messy clothes. <laughs> I took the messy clothes. Oh, I see. They were folded. Initiative means that you go out of your way and you do and you do something without anybody having to ask you to do it. So, oh, so mommy can say um, symphony help clean up around the help clean up the um help clean up the kitchen. Yeah. And I'll and I'll symphony clean up the kitchen. The but instead of just doing the kitchen, I'll also help clean another room. Would that be being the initiative? Yeah, it's like initiative and doing something else. If she didn't ask you to do that. Yeah. Initiative is um where you like if. I'm on at school break. Mama didn't ask me to clean up all the rooms, so I just was being so nice and I was cleaning up all the rooms. Yes. That's like cleaning up the whole entire house. Everyone, hey, about you, buddy? What's initiative? Like if Mama was going to like do the dishes, I could be like, Mama, it's okay. You can go sit back down. I can do it. Yeah, that is. Let's take the initiative. So what does that mean? It means you're doing something without anybody asking you to do it, right? Yes. And it's important in a household. Yeah. All right, you guys already see what animal we're going to be learning about today? All right, guys, so these are the whistling bear. swan. It's very pretty birds, right? Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> they made a heart. It's so cute. All right, guys, by this thumbnail, this V formation of these whistling swan, how would you say they're taking initiative. They're flying without being asked. It's <laughs> a good guess. <laughs> so they're not all taking initiative. Which one do you think is taking initiative in the V formation? Uh, no, I don't Which one? The, the one, um, let me show you. Which one I think? The one that says 25 mark? This one, because it went in the back and it was Wait, which one? The one in the back. That's not the back, that's the front. <laughs> Oh. Yes, it simply is right. This one up here, this is the front of the V formation. We just saw a bunch of birds flying the other day, didn't we? Oh, yeah, yes, In the V formation. Oh, yeah. yeah, I saw it making like a fish. Yeah, so this <laughs> bird takes the initiative because it is the hardest for it to fly through the air. What this bird is doing is basically breaking up the air and making it easier for this one to fly. And making it so it's, it's a lot more effortless for this bird to fly than it is for this Whoa. bird. Did you guys know that the bones inside of the, the wings and the feathers are hollow? To make them extra light. So it makes it easier for them to get up in the air. There was a man, he had a lot of sheep, okay? And he had 10 men watch over his sheep for him. And when he came home, he decided he wasn't going to pay them anything for their work. And so the king heard about this, King David actually. And King David said, this man needs to be killed. We need to put him to death for, as a punishment. They planned to kill him, and his wife heard about it. And his wife decided to take the initiative of going to the king and begging the king not to kill her husband. She took initiative, right? Like without being asked, she did it. Without being her asked. Her husband didn't ask her. He, she just right. like 
I'm not going to let my husband get killed. Yeah, but the thing is, the Bible also says the husband is the authority over the household. And so she went and did this without talking to her husband first. When we have this new baby, mommy's going to be doing a lot of things for the baby that we can't do. She does a lot of stuff in the house, and it requires in a household for all of us to take initiative to help out and, re and take the load and pressure off of mommy and myself, or and you guys as well. Mommy does a lot to take the pressure off of you guys. For example, she cooks our dinner, right? Mm -hmm. She takes the initiative to cook, to cook our dinner. So I want to hear from you guys. What are some ways after the baby gets here that you can take initiative and take the pressure off of mommy in the house? If she's helping the baby, he can make like lunch for her without her asking. Or like breakfast. Yeah, or um, something you can do if you can't do those things. Maybe if she needs some baby clothes, um, I can bring her some. Yeah. Or like if she's changing the baby's diaper, you could bring her more diapers. Yeah. Boy, is that so funny? <laughs> no. Maybe the change the baby's diaper for poops. Ew. Um, what? Mommy might not be feeling well or um, she might be um, doing something. And um, I've been cooking a lot, so I could like make dinner or something. Good. Like that. You already make breakfast every, every once in a while. How can you take initiative once the new baby's here? Like, what job can you do? When that new baby is out, I'm gonna help mommy. When mama does a little bit of putting on the clothes, I'm gonna do all the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna help the baby put on clothes? Something I could do to take initiative is take you guys out to maybe a park or something, all three of you guys, and give mommy some free time here at the house alone with the baby. That's something I can do. So it's quiet for her and the baby and they can both get a lot of rest. That's something initiative for you and something fun for us. It'd be fun for me too. It's important though guys when we take initiative that we're not taking initiative against authority. For example, you don't do something that's against my will in the house. What does if that I, mean? For example, if I don't want you guys swimming in the pool and you decide I want to take initiative and put uh, get Juliet ready to swim in the pool, you know stuff like that you need permission to do. That's not taking initiative. Abigail did that with her husband, but her, her husband ended up dying anyway because she came back and told her husband that I went and begged the king to save your life and he had a stroke and died pretty much 10 days later. He had two strokes and died anyway because she went above her authority in the household and did this. She, you still gotta make sure your methods of doing it are right. Thanks for joining us today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow, but in the same vlog because we're gonna combine tomorrow and today into one vlog, so. Good night, we'll see you in the morning. Alright guys, let's head to my last OB appointment. It's a little different than normal because really all I'm doing is having tests ran and making sure everything's on track with my blood work. leave this on until well I guess I go home since I guess my hospital bracelet maybe they'll change it out I don't remember ever having a red one all right guys so I had to come about two days ago and do a COVID test I didn't vlog that but y'all it was horrible my nose bled I flinched once and the guy took it out <laughs> he was like girl you're gonna have to toughen up I'm not even halfway done yet and I was like you know what I'm a big baby so if I flinch or if I make a face or a noise you just keep going ignore me and so yeah my nose bled y'all it was nuts was not a fan not a fan sipping in our headed to uh costco stock up on food i guess because we just need food in the house before the baby gets here i don't know i don't know exactly why why are we getting going to costco i don't know for the food at the hospital for the food at the hospital food to bring to the hospital
Well, I don't know. Oh. All right, Cynthia, I hope you're ready to do the shopping because I ain't doing it. Here's the list right here. Oh, okay. Show There's... me where we're going. Probably at, start at the back of the store, right? And get okay, produce. So, first I need spinach. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm super pumped about the baby tomorrow. Like, I cannot be more excited. But my body is just, like, not feeling it today. I don't know what it is. I had too much bread this morning, maybe. I've been having a rough day. So I'm gonna let Cynthia do the shopping and just think about everything I need to do to prepare as a father for tomorrow. Cynthia, I'm gonna stay back here and sit down, okay? No. Good luck, babe. I thought you were gonna shop for me. Nope. All I'm right. gonna shop. All right, where are we going? Show me where we're going. Vintage. I don't know where. There's a tree. You wanna see what kind of trees they have? We have something like this. Pumpkin mm -hmm. Mandarin. Why are they such random trees? What is that? Pindemol? Pink lemon? Weird. Ah, uh, nah, let's pass. I'm gonna like grab a Cabernet to break in the new baby. You know, just a way to celebrate with Nia after she delivers. Butter pound cake, are you kidding me? All right, so Nia wants us to get some easy breakfast options. Like uh, cereal or um, breakfast sandwiches. Lots of snacks, pickles. Big bars, pop tarts. So let's, we got some fresh fruit. Where's the creamer at? From your vanilla protein drinks. Oh, from my mom. Let's go to the refrigerators. Italian sausages. Salad. Tomorrow is uh, National baby. Meatball Day. Really? Yeah, so we're having the baby on Meatball Day. <gasps> Their birthday's coming on. I guess we'll have to call the baby a meatball. Oh, yeah, because we like a little meatball in the family. Yeah. Does mommy like these kind of pickles? She doesn't? I don't know. Oh, I bet she would. They're called world's best pickles. So maybe we should. Yeah, yeah, let's I try them out. Like Little muffin shaped eggs, those are good. Next up, these. No, we're not getting macaroons. Please. I've been wanting some so no, bad. No, we're not getting that, it's junk. Daddy, I've been craving those, I want those so bad. Sorry, not today. Here's some chicken breast burrito bowl, that looks good. That's an easy dinner option though. Gotta get some wet food for Oreo. She's so dang picky. She's like, okay, you don't want to get me wet food? I just won't eat and I'll just starve. She's like Abram. <laughs> yeah, she's like Abram. You guys love these? I do. Grab a box. I don't know how they're gonna fit in our freezer. Easy breakfast option here. Yes. An egg witch. So there's no bread? <laughs> no. Yummy. It's like yeah, a- Yeah, let's grab one. Those are good. I'll try that. Oh my gosh, look at these crab legs. It's crazy. Crab legs. My mom loves crab legs. They're huge. That is crazy. Ooh, there's some salmon. That looks good. Already cooked. Yummy. Individually wrapped. Sipping it here. Chicken nuggets for easy dinner option. These are exactly what ruined my morning this morning. These right here. They were so delicious. Yeah. I mean, we're getting more. No, we're not. I don't like to put weaknesses in my house. Okay, it's a weakness for me. Whatever you do, don't get those. Those are another weakness of mine. Also, don't get those, another weakness. Mendra's lentils? Is this an easy dinner? It's like beans in a bag. Eight pouches, chickpeas with tomato, onion, and spices. Let's try it, it looks good. No, asparagus. Think mommy will like these? Mommy oh, those look amazing. Asparagus. Pick a snack here for you guys. You can get the applesauce bags, okay? Or you could get fruit and vegetable pouches. Or you can get the go go squeeze. Or you can get the bubble fruit. Which one do you want? Bubble fruit? Bubble fruit. Over the applesauce? Over the applesauce. Is that real fruit? With yeah. bubbles in it? Sydney, we forgot Pop Tarts. Oh. Cherry or strawberry. And don't judge me, it's something I crave really bad when I'm breastfeeding. Did I say it too loud? Pop tarts. So they don't have pop tarts. Sorry, Mama. We're trying to find peanut butter for you, okay? Go run down the aisles and see if you can find the peanut butter. Look, go down this one, and then that one, and then that one. I'll wait right here. Go down this one, and then that one. No, no, up this way. Look, that way, that way, that way. Bye. That's confusing. Go, go. Find that peanut butter. Peanut butter is literally right there in front of me. Just need to get some energy out of that girl. <laughs> I can only find wow butter. 
I think it's wild butter. It's peanut the free. That, they don't tell you what's in it. They don't? I can never find what it's made out of. It's just wild butter. What the heck? Whole toasted soy. Oh, there's no peanuts in it? Soy and sugar. You gotta find real peanut butter. Yeah, I thought that was peanut butter. Try again. Peanut butter. Is that all natural? Jeff. She wanted natural peanut butter. Does it have natural? Doesn't that say natural? Nope. Oh, peanut butter. It says cream and peanut butter. <sighs> I can't keep running. Don't run. What if I do cartwheels while I do it instead of running? No, because you got to take this back. Be careful. It's got to say natural on it, okay? Thank you, honey. I love you. Natural. Well, there is something that's natural. Wow, butter. Last thing we got to get is protein shakes for my mom. My mom's going to be staying with the kids for the next few days. And hopefully some of the, uh, or one of the uncles or aunts to come help her out. Cause she's still recovering from the shoulder surgery. And Symphony's gonna be a big help, right? Mm hmm You're gonna take care of the kids while we're gone? Mm-hmm. Think we got enough for a family of six now? No, I think this is more like enough for a family of ten. Should we have a few more? Yeah, we should have a few more than just one tomorrow. Maybe we could have two tomorrow. Maybe, Maybe even see what happens. Grocery number one. Tiffany was a big help, so she got the macaroons. And I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna eat some too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I better not. <laughs> Am I good? Mm. <laughs> Stop. Don't clap your hands on them. Let me try one. That's blueberry. What is this? White chocolate. Mm -hmm. What is the yellow? Lemon. It's green. Pistachio. I'll try that. I'm gonna try it, okay? I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I already ate pretty much the whole thing. Just try it. Just eat the whole thing. It's beautiful. That texture is amazing. Today I was watching a video. Well, this and there's was a crushed. Mac in it, and I don't want it to go to waste, so. Daddy! What? I was watching a video and they had macaroons and they're like describing them and I was like, I want the. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll try yellow. I'm gonna try it! You have to stop! I'm taste testing! But that's why I'm taste testing, so you don't have to. Mmm. Lemon. Stop! Why are you crying? Why are you crying? It's the last time they're gonna get in their seats like that. What is it? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have a little baby scene in the middle part. What? That's exciting. I know, but it just made in the, sense. In it the middle sense. part? What middle part? You know, the middle section of seats. Is there gonna be a baby in the middle? <laughs> That's where we're putting the baby? Good job, getting you to stop crying. I don't understand. No, we're moving Jules to the back and putting the baby seat right there. Oh. And Symphony and the baby will sit in the middle and Abram and Jules will be in the back gotcha. together now. All right, come on. Sad. Let's go, cutie pie, get in the car. Okay. Or yo, watch the house for us now. All right, guys, we're headed off to the movie theater. We're gonna go see what? What are we seeing? Maya and the and the owl or something Raya. like that. Oh, Raya. And Raya and the Last Dragon. Oh, all the way off. This will be our last outing as a family of five. So we're just gonna keep it special. It's gonna be a good time. It's really gonna be a good time. Now you sit by me, Dad. You gonna sit by your daddy? Yeah, he's he's a favorite daddy. I like kiss him a lot. I love him so much. I love you too, sweetie. So we will catch you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. Adding another yeah, member to the family. It's crazy, big surreal. Day. Just won't believe crazy. it until it happens. It's one of those things. It happens. Get out of here! Nobody asked you to echo me. Don't forget, guys. He loves you. Remember to love each other.